El pasado mes de diciembre, Omer Belver debutó con Aida como director invitado en el Palau de Les Arts de Valencia. Eran las cuatro últimas funciones de la ópera con la que Lori Macel había iniciado la actual temporada en el Foso Valenciano. It was a very, very good debut because... I mean, I was accepted very, very, very warmly by the audience. You come to a new theater, it's new public, new... everything is new. And everything you do is new. Because I think, actually, the most important thing that we can do, beside of playing well and keep the level and everything that we're doing, is that, you know, everyone who comes here and sees this theater, they're shocked completely. Because this is something that you expect to see in New York or in, I don't know, yeah, in London. But no, it's in Valencia. And after someone see this thing, they im immediately understand, okay, something special is going on, because it's impossible that you have this kind of place uh, here. Um, it, it, it must be special, it must be something unique. La próxima temporada 2011-2012, Omer Belver recogerá el testigo del maestro Macel y será el nuevo director musical del Palau de les Arts. Here you feel that it's a very fresh sound, very young orchestra, with the tradition of Mazel and Meta, I mean, with, they worked with... with two of the, you know, the most important conductors of the, of the 20th century. Um, so this, this combination between a young orchestra and this, these conductors, I think, can be exactly the, the, you know, the magic um, of me coming to work with this orchestra. I chose For this season, my favorite three operas from all the repertoire, which is Aida, Onyegin, and the Lizir d'Amore. Um, I thought this is a good way to start my, uh, you know, connection with the theater. Is first of all come with my favorite operas. Um, so this was also this is why we chose uh, to put Onyegin. And second, I think that um, the Russian tradition. The Russian music is a very, very good music for an orchestra to work on Tchaikovsky. It's something that develops very much the orchestra. And it, I'm sure that after this work on Onyegin, they will, they will already find a lot of new things. I mean, it's a very, very interesting piece. It's a very difficult piece. Uh, um, I don't know, I'm in love completely with this music. Uh, it's very, very good. Russian I like very much. I'm, you know, I'm half Russian and in Israel everybody speaks Russian. But um, Onyegin for itself is really a masterpiece. It's really something very, very special. Maybe this whole Pushkin-Tchaikovsky connection and maybe also something with, the, um, I think with Tchaikovsky's personality, you know, this um, gay uh, composer, in this elite life of, you know, of the Tsar uh, in Russia. I mean, this, you know, it's, it wasn't easy for him to be what he was in this community, in these people, with these people. Everyone are looking at you, everybody knows what you're doing. I mean, and this is exactly the problem uh, also in Evgeny Onegin because it's, um, it's all these small intrigues, you know, inside the society of the Russian society. And for me, it's immediately, I, the first note you play on Onegin, you, you feel cold immediately. It's immediately snow. And it's fantastic, yeah. When I learn a text, I'm looking two things. I'm trying to get inside the moral, uh, um, how do you say, the moral characteristic of this time, like Onyegin. Onyegin is the perfect example because when you read this, you completely can get into the moral feeling of these people. First of all, it's moral, and the second is the culture. I mean, you can, from the text and from the music, if it's a good piece, which is Onyegin obviously is, but all others, Aida, or Aida obviously, you can immediately get the moral thinking of this time and the cultural thinking of this time. And this is here where, where music starts to become very interesting. El próximo 26 de marzo, Belver estrenará en el Palau el Elixir del Amor, de Donichetti. It's going to be very, very nice. I mean, first of all, with the cast, we have really top-level cast. I mean, it is really a 
you can almost not ask more than this. It's really the best people that you can do uh, Elysir in the world. And we have a beautiful production, new production. Uh, I don't want to tell because it destroyed the effect, because it's a very, very nice, very young production, very fresh. Um, I don't want to say because I think it's a nice uh, surprise. Habrá que esperar. De momento lo que se sabe es que Odina será la soprano polaca Alexandra Kursak y Dulcamara lo interpreta Erwin Schrott, a quien se pudo ver recientemente con este mismo personaje en el recital que el barítono ofreció en la inauguración del Festival de Canarias. <risa> 